Hola estudiantes, ¿cómo están? Today we're going to study the indirect object pronouns. These are found on page 209 in your Asise Dice textbook. They're called indirect object pronouns. They involve in Spanish the pronouns like me, te, le, nos, les. You re may remember these from uh, me gusta, te gusta, and phrases like that. But we're going to see how these pronouns work and also um, use them with other verbs. Um, so I would strongly encourage you to look at page 209 and 210. Uh, look at these pronouns. I'm going to show you a few examples of them from the book and then we'll do a few activities to practice them. Los pronombres me, te, nos. In chapter 5 you learn the pronouns me and te with the expressions me gusta, te interesa, te aburre. Note that nos is the object pronoun that corresponds to nosotros. That is, we, nos means us. No nos aburre el curso. Nos gusta. We're not bored by the class. We like it. Nos interesa bastante. It interests us a lot. Me, te, and nos are object pronouns. They can be used as either direct or indirect objects. Note that, unlike in English, you put the object pronoun right before the verb. So this is quite different from English. Uh, in English, our, our pronoun will always go after. It interests me. El médico me ve, me examina. Te habla el médico? Look at that one. Te habla el médico. Is the doctor talking to you? And the te goes right up in the front. Si, me habla. Yeah, he's talking to me. El médico nos examina y nos da una receta. The doctor examines us and gives us a prescription. Page 210. Los pronombres le, les. Le and les are indirect object pronouns. That means they are the indirect receivers of the action of the verb. They answer the question, to whom or for whom? La médica le da una receta. The doctor gives her a prescription. La médica les habla. The doctor is talking to them. The indirect object pronouns le and les are both masculine and feminine. Le and les are often used with another phrase to clarify to whom they refer. Le can mean to him or to her, so often we have to clarify, we have to sh uh, show who we're actually talking about. El profesor le habla al muchacho, a la muchacha. El profesor le explica la lección a los alumnos, a las alumnas. Le habla. Le, habla, le hablo means I'm talking to you or talking to him or talking to her. And les hablo can mean I'm talking to you all or talking to them or talking to them feminine. Study these two examples. They may help you understand how an indirect object pronoun works. The first sentence, I throw the ball to him. Uh, the to him is the object uh, pronoun. Uh, and the ball is the direct object. The indirect object is to him. Uh, le lanzo la pelota. I throw to him the ball. Again, the ball is the direct object, and to him, le, he's the indirect object pronoun. Another example, I write a letter to my mom. I write a letter to her. In Spanish, le escribo una carta. The letter is the direct object. Le represents to her. She is receiving the thing that's receiving the action in the sentence. 
I write the letter to her. Yeah. 